Day two, Sawtooth Canyon Base Camp. We're up here with the rock climbers. They're doing their thing. These guys are getting ready to go out. Guys up here climbing already. And uh, we're gonna go do uh, another lap in the desert. Nick's ready, I'm ready. I know it's gonna warm up, so I'm gonna be suiting out of my warm vest here in a little while, but it was chilly. Uh, I'm still on my uh, 108 miles, so we'll see how we'll see how far it gets on the tank here. I'm liable to get to the end of the parking lot and run out of gas. But that's the whole mission today. I'm gonna use my MSR fuel bottle out of my backpack, see how far that gets me. I just filled up Nick's tank for my uh, gas cans, and uh, yeah, we'll see how this whole thing goes. It's a pretty busy campground here, Sawtooth Canyon campground really neat area I'll definitely have to come back here and do some uh, hiking and scrambling around get my morning exercises on oh look at those clouds rolling over the mountains back there that's pretty sick that little storm came over us last night I woke up early this morning and it was cloudy and I was like oh man it's gonna be another day all right Sawtooth campground we'll be back in a little while shorter day today we did 100 miles yesterday we might do 50 around the back side of this canyon and we'll see what we get into today oh another glorious day in the desert we came from over there yesterday so we're gonna try to wiggle through here today and find a way over this set of hills and then cut around the back side of all of sawtooth yesterday was well planned out and sorted out by nick he uses a couple of different uh, mapping apps i just come out here and this is this is how i mostly do it as i know the 40 freeways over there and Old Woman's is over there, and the 15 freeways back there, and Alabama's that way, and the ocean's that way. And then I just fill in the gaps and the bits in the middle. We'll just kind of find where it goes, see if we can find our way up through here. And we're going to take the first right. It may be a dead end, but guess what? We may have found a, a dope camp spot for future use. Looks like a bunch of glass getting blown up over here so super rad i'm still on my stock tank from yesterday i just hit 110 miles i hit reserve at 77.9 miles yeah just gonna see how far i can actually get on a tank of gas i'll put my bottle in see what the bottle will do i'm estimating 30 30 40 miles maybe on the bottle it's one of those uh, msr mil spec 32 ounce little jammings this may be the next camp spot right here So we just came up in this little canyon here. It's a dead end. Could be a really awesome little group spot for some future Yamaha T-Dub Club campout mission. We're just gonna hang a right here and head to the next. But man, look at this view out here. Just, just a Willis. Look, like we may have gotten a scratch bit more rain last night. Look at this terrain out here. So we're literally just on the other side of the canyon that we was just checking out. This one seems to be going further up. Will it get us over the top of the mountain? I don't know. That's our intentions for right now. But we shall see, but it's doing a pretty good job of getting up through here, so. But getting over that, I don't know. And at some point here, I'm going to run out of gas again. Check the Odo real quick. 112 miles, stock tank of gas. And mind you, you know, Nick's probably getting better gas mileage than I am because he's still running his stock exhaust. His carbs tuned, so it's not so lean. These bikes tend to run really lean right out of the factory. So they need a little bit of adjustment. Holy Toledo's another campsite. Yeah, this is a sick spot right here, dude. Right out of that little campsite is this little trail. And we're going to see uh, 
to see if we can make something of this. Ah, I see on the trail, dude. I'm being lazy, I'm sitting down. <laughs> I see what's going on. <laughs> oh yeah, this is fixing to be good stuff. Dude, this terrain is so sick. Woo! How dope was that little section? <laughs> yeah, very Arizona ish, dude. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's keep at it. I, I say we drop down here, and we'll probably connect into where we're at over there. Not unless you want to go to the top of that and see. <laughs> All right, let's get. We're here, you know. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> dude oh my god holy Toledo's man like so there's our road so we're camped across the way over there just behind that little finger sticking out look there's another spot right over there like okay I like this camp spot <laughs> see this is why we got a moto camp man You see my little top secret that rock. I like to take for. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man, I'm glad I turned on my GPS kit today. All right, take a seat. Wow. Okay, I do a little hydration. Yep, even out here in the desert in the winter, it's still dry. And you get thirsty. Well, we just uh, came off of that mountain. Really, really cool spot. And in the uh, GC Rad 1 spirit of uh, not backtracking on the same little trail, we saw this going down. So we we're like, all right, we'll take this down and across. Adding some new tracks to my GPS kit. It's only for uh, Apple products. Uh, but the guys at uh, Yoda Masters B&B uh, Tank Supply, they're the, they're the ones that turned me on to it. We've used it for our tracking and mapping and plotting of courses for our fun uh, off-road adventures on the four wheels. 
and so I just use it back and forth for my moto trips I didn't run it yesterday you know sometimes I use it sometimes I don't today I'm like all right cool oh I need one of those that gum it I wish I could put that on the back of my bike dang people now we dropped off into another little wash going back down just uh exploring the many fingers of the desert checking out checking out loops finding nice loops this is all a great riding area back here man yeah I like it, I like it. That's a good spot. Yeah, that's a great one. Comes with firewood. <laughs> Starter wood at least. Yeah. Okay. I think I found a new super cool fun section. Flying away. All right. Awesome sights. I can't help it. a really cool section super flowy Looks like it's just going to take us right back up to where we were. Wow. Big ranch. Well, a lot of the stuff was uh, 
the Desert Homestead Act, I think in the 1820s or something like that. Just come out, make it yours, meet the uh, obligations and the requirements, and the government granted you the land. That's something really cool that I read about also in that uh, the Mojave Trail Guide book. Yeah, we're going to go look at that. We're going to go see where this takes us first.